Thank you. <laughs> you guys are so nice to me. Really, this is such a lovely energy over here. Are you guys having a good time? Because yeah. <laughs> I'm not. Three some mom. Ask me why I'm not having a good time. Stop it, you. Thank you. I'm not having a good time because I'm what they call an immigrant. <laughs> and being an immigrant is hard. You go through obstacles and challenges that citizens don't go through. Nick, are you a citizen? I could tell. <laughs> but you know, it's not true that I'm blameless, you know. I make mistakes. I recently made a mistake. Do you guys want to know about my mistake? Yeah. Thank you, Karan. <laughs> I made the mistake of watching this thing. Maybe you guys have heard of it. It's called the news. <laughs> and I found out that Nick, the British citizens, have been going through a lot of shit. And it's all my fault. <laughs> Nick's pension's cut. My fault. The lads aren't getting employed. My fault. He fingered on the first date. My fault! <laughs> And I'm sorry about that. I truly am. I'm just trying to contribute to the economy. <laughs> the best way I can. But you know, I did see another thing that you guys have over here. Uh, election debates. And it was very interesting because it was like five similarly shaded white people uh, arguing with each other. They all agree, but you know, they still have to act like they argue. And then one of them asked, you know, oh my God, like, what do you think is wrong? Why is the UK so shit, man? And then the first guy's like, well, it's the immigrants. <laughs> then you have someone arguing with them. Well, actually, immigrants are the backbone of this economy. But we, do we have too many of them? Maybe. <laughs> and you know, but then I was, I was thinking, I was like, no, no, man, it can't just be me. It can't just be me. But then one, one strong man, he said, you know, the problem is not that we hate immigrants. The problem is, it's a mathematical equation, guys. What we need to do is bring immigration to a net zero. Immigration to a net zero. You would like that, wouldn't you, Nick? <laughs> now, I don't know about you guys, but I don't like the same measurement as carbon emissions being used on me. But I feel like I'm talking about immigrants too much. I'm definitely not the only immigrant here. Are there any immigrants here to say woo? Wow, that was a good immigrant right there. <laughs> no, I am the immigrant. You can't be stealing my job. I stole yours. <laughs> Do I have a less stealing job immigrant? Some nicer immigrants over here. Can I get a woo? Are you an immigrant? Oh, what, what genre of immigrant are you, ma'am? You're from Italy. Can we get a woo for Italy? <laughs> Ma'am, why don't you educate them on some of the struggles that you face as an Italian immigrant? Oh, oh, that's not, Nick, you better stop that shit. That's not cool, Nick. That's not cool. Can I tell you guys about the problems that I face as an immigrant? Would you be interested? Some of the problems that I face as an immigrant are visa applications. They ask you a lot of intrusive questions about your name, age, sex, location. But one question, really changed my mind and opened it and time to open your minds. I'm sorry, sir, that I couldn't entertain you. The question is, and I quote, have you ever considered or been affiliated with a terrorist organization or an extremist group? Box yes or no. <laughs> now I'm not a terrorist. But if I was a terrorist, I feel like that wouldn't be a good deterrent. <laughs> like, I don't know what's more funny, the framing of the question or the amount of terrorists that actually caught through that question. <laughs> <laughs> I said yes. <laughs> but I'm here. I'm here because of the open-minded people, especially in that corner. <laughs> you know? And there are rules in immigration. You just can't come here willy-nilly, you know, and steal jobs. There are rules. One of the rules are that you need to have at least 90% attendance in your university. My lads, what was your university attendance? <laughs> Don't be shy. This is your time. 5%. Can we get a woo for 5%? 5% graduated. Yeah, I would get kicked out for that shit. But then there was another rule, a more terrifying rule. And the rule was that you are not allowed to work for more than 20 hours. Yeah, you know, fuck me, you're gonna kick me out after this. <sighs> you work too much, 
you get deported you don't work enough you get deported you affiliate yourself with a terrorist organization possibly deported <laughs> but you know i'm having a lovely time.